Okay, we're going to do a just a quick video review of this Moisui uh, inspection microscope, digital mi inspection microscope. Um, this thing is pretty awesome. I've had no real issues with it. Um, just a couple of things I want to point out um, that are just easier to show than, than putting it in the description. Um, We'll turn this thing on. Just turn it on. You have to push and hold the power. It is not connected to the wall right now. It's just running off the battery power. And uh, the battery is replaceable. Um, you can see it starts up. You can adjust this screen both ways. You can tilt it up and you can tilt it down however it is that you're viewing it. And just to show you what you can do with it, this is a, a stamp. You adjust the focus by this you can adjust the rack up and down uh, but the actual focus is done with this knob and hopefully this comes through on the video but you can see how clear that is and you can move things around and you can move these gooseneck lights this light inside here is blocked right now by a little piece that's inside and i'll show you what um i have a small issue with the piece that's inside here uh, the goosenecks are goosenecks uh they're tough to get into place but once you get them into place they kind of stay and uh the view is is pretty good so you can see quite a bit this is a um a synthesizer kit that i soldered all together and just to give you an idea that you can also look at solder joints just focus in on here but you can see even with the diodes you can see right into the glass of the diode and down into the solder joints and things um you know and see how messy it is because i am not a professional solderer but um you can definitely see the solder joints and everything else uh it works with just about anything it's it's pretty handy and i've done a bunch of reviews using this because it records video it records uh photos you can connect it to a tv i had a small issue when i tried to connect this to the tv through an hdmi switcher all i got was snow um, could not get a picture out of it, but when I connected it directly to the TV, I had no problem. The picture is grainy. Uh, it's nothing special, but you can definitely see what you're seeing here on the screen. It's, it's probably just as good a quality as this. The videos are great. Uh, the quality of the videos are, are pretty good. They're not super great and super sharp, but you know, this is what it is. Uh, they are definitely good enough to show what it is that you're looking at and what i'll do at the end of this video is i'll i'll attach a couple of short videos of things that i i reviewed um using this camera um some jewelry and stuff and things that you couldn't see with the naked eye that that this thing definitely helps with um <clears throat> one of the main issues i have with it is so if you have something underneath here the controls for the lights for these two lights is back here. It's a touch capacitive touch that you can change to dimmer, but you have to reach around here. And I have my hands aren't that big and it's still tough. And it's got this, this metal hook here for the base that sits right over top of it. So sometimes you I find myself having to adjust it partially here and then pick up the rest of it on this side in order to adjust the, the brightness of it. This one here is controlled by, by this one. You can turn it completely off or you can turn it on. Um, the menu system is pretty simple. Um, you can easily go through and, and, you know, change whatever you want. There's a ton of different menu options here uh, and it works great. Connecting it to a PC worked perfectly fine. Easy to get the files on, on the uh, device off of it. Um, the back of this thing the cable that goes from the monitor down to the bottom is a little long so i just took this little clip to kind of hold it together and normally what i do is i i clip it to the back of this thing that kind of keeps it out of the way and makes it easier to move around um what i will do is i'll turn this off and you can see it go through its process all the lights shut off um so the Let's see, I'll show you this. This The rack, uh, if you tighten this screw up just a little bit, it makes this perfect. I mean, you can move it up and down, and when you move it, it stays in place. This is a little bit loose, but I, I think that that's how it's kind of supposed to be. It shouldn't be 
uh, super tight tolerances in here. Um, but you move this up and down, this thing stays and you can push on this and it's not dropping. It's solid. The nut tightens down nicely on here. There is, this one comes with the extension, which is a solid piece of aluminum, uh, which goes on the bottom here. And then you mount this whole thing on top of it. It gives you a wider field of view from the top when you're looking at coins or something like that. Um, if it's like a quarter or something, even maybe a nickel, you really can't get the full coin when this is all the way up at the top. So you have to add this piece to it. It's very handy. Uh, most of the other ones that I've seen online, this thing is separate, came with this one. Um, to get these, this top piece off, you have these two little screws on the back and then this thing slips out of there. Um, the battery compartment is here, which is nice. You can replace the rechargeable battery if it goes dead. Um, you have all these connections, the micro SD card, everything's labeled on the top. Um, my main issue with this is this little cap here. Uh, this comes off, right? You just twist it a little bit and it comes off. It's, it's okay. It's not super rigid, but it, it definitely holds. Take that off. This thing blocks the LEDs from the inside lens so you don't get the reflection on it and you do get a reflection if you take this off but in some cases this these lights are good for uh looking at things here but this piece here is very very loose it just sits there are these little holes i don't know if you can see them in there and these little hooks on this thing and they just go in there and then you twist it but even twisted it's it's very very loose i haven't had a problem of it with it falling off i don't bounce this thing around i take care of it um, but if you were moving this whole thing around, I can see this thing falling off and in, inside here and it's an easy fix, but, um, I wish it were just a little bit tighter than, than it is. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We'll sit this over here. Um, when I first got it and I don't know that you're going to see it on this camera, but down in here, there's a little, little nick in the plate and it looks like they filled it with, um, a black Sharpie. That's what it looks like slightly purple and there were a couple other little spots on here no big deal um i've seen that done by other people before it's not affected you can't tell unless you're you're kind of looking for it i'm okay with it um you know i don't know what else to to really say about it um there was one little thing when you're charging it you're supposed to be able to the instructions say that you can short press the power button when you're charging it and will tell you what the the voltage is or the the percentage is on the battery. Uh, I can't get that to work. I don't necessarily need it. You know, the light is red when it's not when it's charging. Um, I believe it turns green when it's fully charged. I'm okay with that. Uh, not a big deal, but it didn't work for me. Um, the freeze mode where you can freeze multiple images on the screen. Works very well if you're trying to compare uh, different things to each other. You can get four images up on here. Um, you know, other than that, everything else with this is great. The remote works very well once the unit is on to take photos. So you don't have to sit here hitting OK and having this just move that little bit. Uh, it's pretty solid, but, you know, when you don't want that, even that little bit of movement, if you hit the OK button on the remote, it takes the photo and you don't have to touch this thing at all. It's really good. Um, it comes with all the cables that you need to, to charge it and to connect it to the TV. It is a, a micro um, HDMI or a mini HDMI to a regular HDMI cable. It comes with the micro SD card. I believe you can get a bigger card and put it in there. I haven't had any issues. Once I get a video of something, I wind up taking it off of there and putting it on my laptop anyways. Um, you know, it's, 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 Pretty awesome. The thing is great. I use it pretty frequently for all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's really, really good. And I've had zero issues with it other than the couple of little things that, that really aren't a big deal. And uh, like I said, after this little piece here, I'll put a couple little samples of videos that I took um, with this device for other reviews. And uh, I highly recommend it for anyone that's looking to, to you know, solder projects together and want to see the the solders a little better um to know if you miss something 
anyone who's collecting stamps, coins, whatever else, uh, jewelry, you can really get in and see things that you can't see otherwise. Um, knife edges and things like that. It's really, really good. Uh, highly recommended. Thank you.